We took a trip to Moundville Archaeological Park, where once a year they have a Native American festival. When we arrived, we realized that there were a lot of schools on field trips and lots of kids. We're heading in. Yeah, I'm excited. It's really pretty. And we even got Chico with it. Yes. Yes. Yep. And look, you can see a mound right here. Check it out. There's more mounds over here. From a village where different tribes were representing their traditional lifestyles to multiple vendors that were offering handmade goods and crystals to a food court, there was so much to see at the festival. We decided to take our time and just absorb the environment and all of the beauty. When it came time to eat, we chose the booth that had the most authentic food. How many fry bread? So this is the Indian taco. Appears to have some kind of fry bread, some meat, some beans, some tomatoes, some salsa, some onions. We got the fry bread with the honey on it. And we got the chico. And we got the chico. At this point, we decided to get back into the car because there were just so many kids that wanted to squeeze Chico's face, which is stressful for Chico and for us. We made the decision to finish our food in the car. And the Indian taco was absolutely amazing. Not to mention the honey-covered fry bread. Divine. After a quick reset and a delicious lunch, most of the children on the field trips made their way back to their schools. So we had the archaeological park to ourselves. We took this opportunity to check out the museum. It is a small but impressive museum. Moundville was the second largest indigenous city in North America, and while so much is still unknown and debated, the archaeological findings are immense. The Moundville Society was believed to have been ruled by an elite royal class, have extensive trading, and a massive emphasis on ceremonial and religious rites. There are so many great examples of pottery, but this rattlesnake disc is considered to be the most important and the oldest. They had tools, beautiful art, ceremonial pipes, intricately designed goblets, and a beautiful display of a wedding ceremony. This was an exhibit about their religious beliefs their connection to the stars, and how that reflected in all of the things that they found at the archeological sites. Right outside the museum is one of the first mounds that you can climb. We did a little exploring and decided to see more of the festival. target range and exploring the grounds of the park. But when we discovered Mound V, one of the largest mounds in the park, everything about our perspective changed. The site was overgrown with which the nature surrounding it was absolutely beautiful and the energy palpable. For me, it really hit when I was standing at the bottom of the pyramid in all of its glory its size and magnitude as I was climbing up the stairs undeniably sparked my imagination. Mound V was believed to be the home site of the principal chief and his family, and when excavated, archaeologists found the remains of a large earth lodge, the same of which is replicated in the museum. This is when it hit me just how impressive and important this culture and this city really is. 
These were rulers, chiefs, and religious leaders leading an immense civilization. These people are renowned for their artistic expression in pottery, for their extensive trade and luxury items, and their mastery of agriculture. This was their kingdom. These were the ancestors of many Native American tribes that we know of today. Scholars are still baffled by their extensive leadership, success, architecture, agriculture, religious beliefs, and the sacred energy is still present today. Especially now, in a time where we are relearning so much of our history, being at Moundville and feeling the legacy that these people left behind inevitably leaves a mark on all who visit. It did leave a mark for me. So much so that as we were driving home, I could not help but reflect on just how powerful and connected these people really were. Leaving behind so many unanswered questions and a mystery that is still being debated today. One thing is for sure, the sacred space of Moundville and the legacy of its people will continue on for generations.